Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate and I post faith and fitness related videos on this channel. So in this video, I am going to share with you guys what my day looks like today. I am going to be doing a full day of eating as well. I haven't done a full day of eating in ages and I was supposed to do a full back workout today. But I'm not feeling very well. I woke up with blocked nose yesterday and yeah. So today is my first week of seminary. I am doing MTH in Missiology in Edinburgh Theological Seminary. We had a proper induction yesterday. So I met the undergrads, the MTH students, the staff which was so good. I felt very welcome and because of the COVID, everything is online for the rest of the semester. So I'm going to be doing a lot of work at home and I know that it's going to be a busy semester. So I'm going to stick to my one video a week. So I'll be alternating between my faith talks and a fitness related video. Um, vlogs and lifestyle videos and I'll share more of my MTH journey with Edinburgh Seminary so yeah I'm about to make my breakfast now and I'm very excited to have my breakfast because I am hungry and in 20 minutes time I will be worshipping with the other students via Zoom so I have to get going and prepare my breakfast. That was a good, quick worship and prayer time with my other fellow seminarians. Now, I'm going to eat my breakfast. I know it's gonna be cold, but I don't mind. Okay. I haven't done my quiet time this morning, so I'm gonna do that. My memory verse for today is from Psalm 111 verse 10 and it says, So the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All those who practice it have a good understanding. His praise endures forever. I love this because as a theology student, it reminds me that the fear of the Lord is very important because it is not hard to fall into the trap of arrogance. Paul said that knowledge puffs up and I tend to be arrogant sometimes because I feel like oh I know better than you but the Bible clearly says that only those who practice with humility the thing that they know in their head they're the only ones that have a good understanding and education and studying theology and i know it's hard work you know they're all good things you can be the smartest theologian ever but if you are not practicing that then you don't really have a good understanding of what you know in your head and this reminds me that the fear of the lord is so key when it comes to wisdom that is the beginning of wisdom like having the fear of the lord and so this has blessed me this morning. Now I'm going to start the day. We do have another induction only for post-grads this afternoon at 2 p.m. And it's currently 9.30. So I'm going to read our handbook because we have to read it before our induction this afternoon. And I'm going to read a couple of chapters of the book that we have to discuss next week for our seminar. A 
okay this is what my desk is looking like at the moment as you can see this is what my life looks like when i have the cold got my water there second cup of coffee need more caffeine and i've got my ginger tea vitamin c and lemon and honey tea very nice I've got this new habit tracker that I downloaded online to just track my habits throughout the month so that will be helpful. Okay, it's currently half 10 and I'm definitely behind my schedule. Yesterday in the afternoon we had a seminar and we had a guest speaker, special guest speaker Dr. Chris right so he is like the john MacArthur in the realm of missiology he wrote materials on a mission and i read these two books the mission of god and the mission of god's people and he is actually one of the reasons why i had the desire to apply for a masters in missiology his work really changed my perspective on how to think about mission and man so in this book he argued for a missional hermeneutics of the bible which essentially means that we can read the bible with missional lenses and see the beautiful grand narrative of the bible the fact that we have the bible shows that god is a missional god he reached down to humanity to give us this amazing bible and yeah really great books i will link them down below if you are interested but yeah i'm gonna do some work now and then i'll have lunch later i'll do some work for two and a half hours and i'm gonna put you guys on time lapse now One thing I can say with studying and being ill at the same time is that it's not easy. I haven't done my seminar reading. I'm not even done reading my postgrad handbook, but I'm almost finished. It's currently 1 p.m. and I am feeling really tired. And I still have an induction this afternoon, so yeah, hopefully food will give me some energy that I need for later's induction. <laughs> the postgrad induction done i'm gonna go downstairs grab me some snackaroonies and then i'm gonna take a break for an hour do some editing enjoy my snacks clean my room my office room because it's a bit of a mess so yeah let's take a break so for snacks, I usually have something sweet and a handful of almonds but today I feel like my throat is dry and I feel like I want to have something warm and hot so I'm going to have this instead. Kevin and I got this from Tesco's yesterday or the other day because it was on sale. This is rice noodles with handcrafted broths 
so this sounds good i'm gonna have this one and i'm gonna make myself another cup of peppermint tea and do some editing for an hour do some studying and then have dinner So I've got four to five minutes to do a little bit of editing. I'm editing some clips on canva.com. Canva is a great tool. It's free. They've got a lot of stuff in there. And now that I am not on social media, I feel like I'm using my distraction time for more productive things that I love and I enjoy where I can express the creative side of me which is great so yeah let's do some editing and i'm going to enjoy my rice noodles uh, i'm really not feeling well but i am gonna power through i'm gonna read for half an hour i'm reading the kingdom of god in africa I'm supposed to read introduction and part one for next week. But I do have time this week to finish it. It's 88 pages long. I know that I'm not going to finish reading 88 pages today. I'm just not feeling very well. So after I read the introduction, I'm going to go downstairs, cook some dinner, play PUBG, chill, spend time with Kevin and sleep early i'm not gonna be doing any exercise this week my body is telling me to sleep and to fuel my body and i just hope that my cold is not gonna get worse okay i'm gonna power through reading that's me for today let's get some dinner enjoying the food <laughs> okay guys I'm gonna close the vlog here thank you so much for watching if you do like what you see like and subscribe and I hope to see you in my next video but for now much love and God bless bye